Hey, what's up, everyone? So today is quite a good video. We uh, got someone to sponsor a video, and we're going to do obviously a sponsored video today. I'll show you what we have got. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> it's a big enough box. So we've got um, the whole back set. So no. The little perp perspex window at the top and then the two side windows so I don't know how much of a comparison we're gonna get on video today but obviously you can see you can see through it pretty clear I'm gonna install them show you how to do it and um, yeah hopefully you'll know how to do it and if you like it you can head over to solar plexus and get yourself some so I'm currently in talks with them to try and sort out a discount code for everyone so that will be handy if we can get that done and save everyone a little bit of money off. Set the camera again. So yeah, we'll we'll try and do that. If I can get hold of one by the time I've edited the video, I'll um, put it in the description below. So keep an eye out for that. See if there's one down there. So we're trying, we're trying. But we'll head in the car and do the two side windows first because I'm assuming they're probably going to be the easiest. Um, I have seen the guys at Cowabunga do this, is where I got the idea from of trying to get some of these and then I got in talks with them and they decided to sponsor a video and send them out to me so we'll install them and then I'll show you how to do it if I can get the right camera angles and we'll go from there so first issue is big guy problems, gloves don't fit very well big hands, well we got them on because we don't want to be touching the the pains and leaving fingerprints. Well, this is how they come. Uh, it's a pre cut piece. One second. A pre cut piece. So you peel back the protection. Even though I've got gloves on, I'm going to try not to touch the, the piece as much as I can. Yeah, that's probably a horrible one for here. Over the thingy. But yeah, peel them off. Then, window. Try and slide. Ow, fingers. Them. Ow, fingers. Fingers. Ow. Paint in behind the trim. Which is a bit of a pain. No pun intended. This one's not sitting very well. Ah, that's it. And then you... Like that. It's a lot darker from over the video already. But what you get is... I've got stuff all around me. What you get is these little... I don't know what you call them, stoppers or... So, let's see if I can show you. You can see they got like a little... A little lip. That bit basically sits behind the trim. You push it in, pull off the little sticky tab, and that's what hold it, holds it in place. So, the only thing is now I've got gloves on and I've got to try and undo these sticky tabs, so that's going to be fun. Come on. Ah! Hey! So, you'll put the first one, I feel like doing it halfway to be honest. This isn't, isn't fun to try and do with gloves on, I'll tell you that. So that's simple enough. I'll try and bring you in and show you. So, I don't know if you can focus. You can't even see it because it's too dark. Oh, there you are. So just push behind the tab, <coughs> behind the plastic even, and you just push it in and then stick down so they stick onto the pane and behind the plastic to in place. Uh. Too many camera angles to be getting hold of on this. I'm getting used to it. Slowly. Oh, bird almost flew through the window then. It's hot today, guys. I'm sitting here with the windows open while I'm doing it. Otherwise, I'll probably sweat to death. But 
The next one I'm going to put at the back. And push it right up. And stick down. It's so simple. So I was going to get the windows tinted at a company, but they wouldn't do the Perspex one, and I didn't really feel like spraying it. I feel like, I don't know, it just feels weird to me to be spraying the window. It doesn't feel right at all. So got in talks with Solar Plexus after seeing a couple of other videos on it. It looked pretty cool. And they decided to send them out to me. So that was lucky enough. But, yeah, should we put one in the middle? Let's go for the middle. There is a guide sheet on where to put them. Um, but I think I'm being a little bit OCD because I don't really... I'm trying to like hide the little tabs so you can't see them that much. I don't know if they'll show from the outside, so we'll just test that after. But it's literally as simple as that. So we'll finish this one. I won't show you the other side because it'll be the same thing. And then we'll do um, the back windows and see how we get on. The little perspex window at the bottom, I've got a feeling it's going to be tough to get in. But they are pretty, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Durable. So you can bend them pretty easy. So that will help. Ah, oh, fingers stuck to the tape. <laughs> right, push that one down, make sure it's solid. I'll spin you around close. So here's the window now. So a little tab there. There, I think it's, you get four for each, for each pane. Or sheet, whatever you want to call it. One up top, one in the corner. I like these ones, because they're hidden from view. But the bottom and the top one, you can see them pretty well, but I think it's just a matter of getting used to them. We shall do the other side, and then I'll do that one off camera, because it's going to be the same as this side, obviously. We'll go outside and try and see if we can look through them and see how um, how they look from the outside. And then we'll do the back ones. Back with you in a minute. So both sides are in, guys. The area, that side's on. That side's on. From the outside, that's how it looks. You can just see through it. It's hard in the sunlight to even tell what I'm recording, to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a reflective, um, and it's darker. So it looks nice. Uh, you can, if you get up close and put your hand up to the window, you can see through a lot easier. Uh, but we'll do, we'll do the back ones and see how we get on with that. I'm trying to think of a camera angle I can get for you so you can see it as well. Um, so give me a minute and I'll get back to you. This could work. I'm using a, a Bilstein shock um, box. Perfect. So we're going to try and do the past deck one next. And see how we go. Well, really, there's going to be a bit of a pain to get in. But we'll pull these off. Sorry for any headphone users. It's 
story of the view is pretty crap, guys. It's hard and solo recording. Oh, we'll get there. Oh, we're just on the wall, the taps. <laughs> The longest part about this and so is getting these little red things off. Probably the hardest part. Especially while you're wearing gloves. And the rubbish can live in the boot for a second. Oh, I'm finger stuck again. They've um, put some spare sticky tabs in there as well on the instructions, which says you only need four for each pane of window. So I might just use them for the sake of this. And so there's extras. side of it being warmer today is the tabs are already heated up a little bit so they stick a lot better I'm bored of peeling the sticky tabs already <laughs> Let me set up the big one, peel that, and then I'll put you back on so you can see. See how we can get this one into it. Oh, no, there's fluff on it. One second. Do, 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 do. See if we can. Hmm, that worked out pretty well. Right. Which way up do we go? Which way up? Which way up? That way. going to be. I'll show you that. So there's like two little hook bits that go in, where am I? Up here and here and it just tucks in behind your plastic and then you use the tabs to secure it down. I'm going to probably do one here, here, here here and I've got six so I might do one on like the side here and the side over there. And let's spray on. Okay. Right. So let's get these tabs on. And we'll shut the boot. See how they look. What's everyone else been doing to their cars lately guys? Leave a comment below and tell me. Um, I've recently started a new job so the uploads have been a bit slower I've only can do it on the um, on the weekends at the minute. 
been working Monday to Friday. Uh, try to get videos out when you can. I've got a couple of small little dress up bits coming at some point. So I'll probably make a video on installing some of that. Over from the guides at Kaizen. So message him on Instagram and he gave me a help with a few bits. So that was lucky. Um, so yeah, before we get in there, and we're doing bit by bit, as and when we can get stuff, and when payday comes around. So I see Danny recently broke his shock on his BC coilover, so that sucks, but I'm sure he'll get that sorted pretty quick. <laughs> You probably have it. No, when was it? Watching these, some of these um, Sunday drive this morning. He said it was coming on Wednesday, I think. So that'll be alright. He'll he'll sort that out pretty quick. So, Danny's always helping everyone out, and he's got a lot of knowledge on bits. Uh, stick down, come on. No matter what, when anyone says, come on, they sound like the Terminator. Get them back on. So we're in, guys. So I've done one here, one here, one there, and one there. And I've run out of tabs, so that's all I'm doing. <laughs> but it doesn't move around or anything so that's handy but we'll shut the boot and have a look from the outside and see help it by turning you around while I was talking so yeah let me we'll cut to the clip of looking on the outside I'll just throw all the rubbish away well, man. right guys so the boot is now down I'll flip you around that's the bottom one I can't even see in there unless you get really close you can sort of see but if you're like looking in as you're walking by or whatever, cannot see in there at all. So it's like a dark smoke. When the sun's coming through, you can sort of see. I don't know if it comes across on video. But it's basically the same as if you was to go and get it tinted. And it takes literally about 10 minutes to install. 10, 20 minutes. So car's filthy the luck of the pressure washer deciding to go bang the other day so that was fun I was running around with fuses trying to just so I could finish off cleaning the car um, so yeah new one of them needed but we'll get one at some point once we've got time so that's the video for today guys I hope you enjoyed um, going over to Facebook and follow Solar Plexus and give them a look. Um, easy enough to install. So they, the delivery was really quick. I think it took them what two days to send it out. Come in two days. Arrived on what was it Friday? I think it was. And they told me they were sending it out on Wednesday. Yeah. So that was that was wicked. Really quick. But I think I need to try and start getting some stickers. I want like a big sticker to go in the middle of the back window area there just don't know what to put there so need some stickers guys give me some recommendations of what to put setting up this stand is a pain yeah so I haven't got any stickers anywhere I've got the rep and the cowabunga guys inside on the um, interior there's no stickers anywhere else so the eye backs have settled now they look what they look like Oh, they've settled down. So, ride high is good. That's the, this side. The front. It's hard to record with the shadows. Huh? The finger gap, you can get two. Just, just about two fingers in there. So, it's dropped pretty good. It rides really well. With the Polybush um, ARBs I've done recently wandering around everywhere that stands up 
there we are but yeah guys i'm just rambling on now so uh hope you enjoyed remember to like comment subscribe share with your friends if you if they're into cars as well just trying to grow the channel as much as we can and show you guys how to do things as i learned too big shout out to danny at dino days um limitations robster fee tech cowbunga chris and ben uh, the usual guys that are always helping support the channel all the time and obviously soda plexus for sponsoring this video and sending out the products for us to install and review so yeah see you later